So if your ninja's not broken, don't fix it. Stick to the old ninja ways. Don't go with the new Nobokan. So this is Ninja Nobokan. And hey, I swear I played this when it was Ninja Gaiden. Uh, if the game seems familiar, it's the faithful, unofficial Ninja Gaiden uh, remake from the original NES game. Uh, it's a 2.5 size scroller, so if you never played Ninja Gaiden, um, <clears throat> it's got fast piece action. The controls are nice and responsive, if not a little bit stiff, like in a bad way, uh, maybe too stiff, but at least it's better than the alternative, which is super loose controls. Um, other than the transition to 3D graphics, pretty much they are faithful remixes of classic so songs you've definitely heard in the past. Um, in the Ninja Gaiden series. Some of the levels are quite faithful, like it's not pure remake, but it's like 90%, I guess, um, like what you played 20, 30, whatever years ago. Um, there's some slight modifications, like in the first level, in the background, there's an active helicopter shooting at you um, of level 1-1, one -one, and they can shoot your ninja to death. So I don't remember that in the originals because it wasn't there. Um, it also, the remake also adds cutscenes, which I feel it's like, they're not like, you know, Final Fantasy level quality, square quality cutscenes, but they sort of add like a, a need, just in case, you know, you ever wonder, why did my guy die and why did, you know, why didn't it show what happened to them? So, I feel like these cutscenes, they improve on the original Ninja Gaiden. Uh, especially the death animations, if you fall into lava, it's pretty gruesome. He like groans and he's like trying to walk, like move around in the lava, which obviously isn't realistic, but it's dramatic and fits video games perfectly. Um, he would be dead and he wouldn't be able to like, you know, groan or whatever. So it's a nice touch. The ninja skills are here are, are um, with different spells that with like a large far range slash and then there was like protective shields, like we saw this pretty much in the original game. Um, the, this game I feel like is far more forgiving than the original Ninja Gaiden. Obviously the guy who's a fan and wants to appeal to like everyone that can play it. Um, it lets you save your game and reload, which obviously the original game would not let you do. So you don't have to play through the game all in one shot like a lot of classic NES games. Uh, they didn't have passwords back in the day, those crazy long ass passwords. But the game is just as glory as the original, which is a total relief that they didn't try and like sanitize it a bit. Um, plenty of blood, decapitations, profanity, and blood spurts that retains the original's, uh, you know, um, feel. <clears throat> the biggest con is the game only supports analog controls. I couldn't get it to work with my uh, digital controller. Apparently some people have, I think, from what I remember, long ass ago when I first started writing this review. So you cannot use the D-pad, um, <laughs> which sucks because you can't play it like the game originally was designed. Um, the controls are kind of stiff, they kind of feel like less fluid than original, but that's kind of understandable since it's not the same team and it's not even, I think it's one guy as far as I know who remade this game. Um, let's say if the rich tool engine, so you have to sort of compensate for that difference there with the controls. Um, while the graphics look more modern than the original, they still look a little bit dated, like obviously it's a guy remaking this rather than Tecmo. So, I'd recommend Ninja Nubokin. Um, if you're a huge fan of the original trilogy, and you were just as excited as I was, sort of seeing this on Steam, not believing my own eyes, um, it doesn't seem like at this point, again going back like 30, 40 years later, it doesn't seem like we're ever going to get a proper professional remake by Techno, um, sadly. So it's just been so long since the game's released, unfortunately. Um, it's the unofficial remake that fans clearly want because someone actually went ahead and did it. Um, and we haven't gotten it. Uh, it was on sale for the Steam Summer Sale when I wrote this for $584 full price being $6.49. That's pretty decent. If you really love this series and love this type of game, then you'll pay that price. Um, it's a huge steal. Someone who never grew up with these games will probably hesitate on picking up for that price. 
until the game feels more complete and maybe the trilogy is finished. Um, yeah, as it is, it's a solid 8 out of 10 for fans. Um, and probably a 6 out of 10 for everyone else. Just because the controls are far from perfect, the game still feels kind of like a work in progress, unfortunately. Um, with the lack of like menu options, it's still one of the best non triple A ninja games on Steam, and it's a no brainer. Um, if you want like a violent classic side scrolling 2D action, there's not a lot of games that play exactly like Ninja Gaiden, and this sort of having played all three games this week, it sort of became that way like a classic Ninja Gaiden week, which is not what I intended, at least two of the three games. So, anyways, keep on slicing and keep on being in the dark because you're a ninja and you're no bo bokening. So keep on no bokening. Bye.